It's 8.40 on this Tuesday, August 8th, and we have a very cool event coming up. You know about it. It's the Chili Cook-Off. It's coming up in a couple of months, and in studio we have Scott and Steve who are going to, uh, from the Rotary Club, who are going to take us through and tell us all about how we can prepare for this upcoming event. If you've never been, first of all, welcome, Steve. Thank you. Uh, and Scott, Steve, you are decked out, man. You got the, up. You got, you showed up. You, That's it, man. You Stage got it right. You came to play. That's it. World champion, world class chili right here. You even brought the ladle, man. I did. This, is the, this, is, this ladle is no joke. I've, this ladle's traveled across the country at different uh, competitions. It's my favorite ladle. It's like my like a blanket to a kid. I but love it. For chili, this is, the, this is what's going to make it happen. That's what it's all about, man. Right. Uh, Scott, I mean, come on. You, no apron, no ladle. What's, what's the deal, man? You know what? I'm kind of humble. I was going <laughs> to bring in my uh, first and second place trophies from the last There you go. Years. Now he's playing. Yeah, yeah, now yeah. he's you playing. I, I, I'm, I'm going to play it easy this time, and I'm going to be nice with Steve. And <laughs> you'll, you'll let him have it. So uh, let's talk about it. Let me, um, I, let's get the date Correct. First of all, it's in October, I believe, right? October seventh. October seventh. So first, first thing we all have to do is mark the calendar. It is. Oh, it's like two months away, almost exactly. October seventh. It's getting close. It's getting close. Uh, what? There's so many things you can do. I think uh, if you've never been to the chili cook-off, I think people think they're just like you know a bunch of pots, uh, you know, on the table here, and we taste the chili, which we can do but there's also so much more so who wants to elaborate steve scott so this year like years past we'll also have silent auction going um obviously 40 chili cookers is what we're shooting for that's what we've had in the past so you know not just going to taste one or two chilies but there will be 40 some professionals in there competing for your People's Choice and the Judges Awards. And then uh, we've got a special VIP room, which will be really kind of neat this year, where we've got some uh, local uh, vinters pouring some wine in there for those folks. So special there. And then also, a uh, local brewery is putting together the Rotary Red, which will be poured in that uh, VIP room. We've got a live band this year as well. Um, is I that something that, that is in the, I think we've had that in the past. Not, no, we've or, it, no, we just have music, but I think live bands are unique this year, and the venue's brand new too. So, oh, where, where, what's the venue? Gonna, so we're going to change the venue to the SCV Senior Center, Bella Vita, mm-hmm. and uh, they're also going to be partnering with us in this in this event as the major benefactor. So, you know, if you if you've been to that facility, it has a beautiful courtyard, be nice and shaded, welcoming fall to a great chili event. And what's you new this year is we're changing it from a week day night to a saturday day noon to one mm-hmm. noon to four excuse me so it will encourage more families to attend and uh whereas before it's a business centric thing right where it started out as a real estate type centered function mm-hmm. 11 years ago now it's morphed more to a more community uh, uh, event and now that we're going to change it from a nighttime weekday to a daytime weekend we'll have more families involved so let's speak to a couple of things you've mentioned uh scott that is the live band Everything, I don't know if you know my opinion, but everything's better with live band. Everything is, but you can turn anything better into it with a live band. So excited. Do we know the music that's going to be played? Yeah, you know what? We've uh, we've got some good experience with this band. They usually play, um, we also help host the car show at Route 66 five times during the year, and this band is a uh, regular there. Um, they play great everything. They kind of go the gamut, right, from 80s, old You got some pop, roll, you got some pop, old rock, you got some classic. Super talented. Excellent, yeah, excellent. Yeah. And it's a, it's this year family-friendly uh, for three hours, you said, did you say noon, noon or one? Four. Noon to four. Four hours. Now let's talk about some chili. You mentioned, you mentioned, Scott, uh, 40 possible different types of chili. I didn't know there could be that many. No kidding. (laughs) So what is, in your experience, and you too, Steve, you can can chime in on this, uh, with the experience that you've had over the years with the chili cookout, what's the, I don't want to say oddest, but just something we wouldn't expect, like, and then it turns out to be unbelievably fantastic, like something, you know, did you ever hear of, like, garlic ice cream, and you go, ah, but have you ever tasted it? It's pretty cool. So what... 
in that vein, what are we looking at as far as, oh, you both are shaking your heads. You know exactly where you're going with this. What What sure, is it? Yeah, no doubt. Yeah. Last year's winner was one of those, really? <laughs> um, go for it. Steve. Well, last year's winner, uh, they, they served their chili, uh-huh. which was, had meat in it, and, and your t- typical gravy, if you want to call it that. But they served it with a piece of sweet roll, cinnamon roll. Okay. And it's like, and it's a Nebraska thing. It's like, really? Like, they told me that, and I go, I, I had to Google it right there in the spot, right? And okay. so, and it was, it's a thing in Nebraska, apparently. And, 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 you know, you, they won. The, the people found that that was the most unusual combination. So, a little cup of chili with a piece of sweet roll on top, and that's how you ate it all together at one time. I love both. So, putting them together, and that won. Yeah, yeah. We, we've had a winner. We've had a winner that brought a, a, a meatless chili. We okay. had, a, you know, but, but before Beyond Meat was a thing, before it was really hit the market and it was available everywhere, mm-hmm. he used it a, a, as his protein. And when you ate the chili, the texture was unbelievably great and the flavor was unbelievable for us chili aficionados we poo-pooed it because how could you have a no meat chili and win right well he won the day you need thing. that red beef people yeah. you need that yeah, red yeah, beef yeah he, he won the whole dang thing it was scott irvin <laughs> yeah, man, lots yeah. of meat lots so of we have 40 and hopefully this year you're get, we're gonna have something new like those uh entries because how cool is that i remember uh, uh somebody had made a long time ago someone had put barbecue sauce uh made homemade barbecue sauce at one of the these kind of taste off and they won by putting grape jelly in their mm. barbecue sauce and again it was like yeah right. you know you make that face and then the taste was just it was unbelievable so looking forward to the new and exciting uh different kinds of chilies you have the vip tent which is going to be serving beer and wine how do we get into the vip area scott like uh, what do we have to do here so if you go to the website which is scv charity chili cook-off you can purchase your VIP ticket, $75 ahead of time, uh, and get into that room and enjoy that. And, you know, one last thing I'd like to throw out there, too, is we're really looking for, if anybody's interested in being a part of this from the sponsorship side of the event, uh, any businesses out there, business owners looking to give back to the community, be a part of this, go to the website, go to Chili, uh, info at uh, scv.com or I think SCV Rotary. It's scvrotary.com let's see what and, we got and uh, give me an email and I'll get right back to you we'd love to have you uh, a part of the event I also yep. want to plug the cookers we need we are cookers. We op- open to the community whoever has a home recipe that they think is the best in a block bring it on we're looking to have it is there no limit I mean is are you to the chill to the amounts of chili that you have um uh, we've got 40 spots you got 40 spots yep. so okay. there is a need for and they're starting to fill up so okay. if you're interested and you want to bring out uh, you know grandpa's recipe and mm-hmm. put it in the competition you need to get on the website register as soon as you can i have the website make sure i have this correctly you guys scv charity chili cookoff.com that's what i have is that correct you got it excellent so it's scv charity chili cookoff.com you've got the chili you've got the auctions you've got the beer and wine the vip area you've got the live band it's a saturday this year in the fall in the fall (laughs) steve is so happy i mean this is just he's just so happy he's he's shaking his ladle he's just so happy guys very cool having you uh in in studio uh this morning please come back uh soon like before the event like right before the event so we can remind everybody that it is coming up because we're two months away but this is this is you know save the date this is what we're doing right now save the date because it's exactly two months away on october 7th on a saturday put it on the calendar and then you guys come back just a couple of weeks prior again so we can bring the ladle Let's let's you know make sure everybody knows and remembers that it would be the uh, following weekend. Can you do that for me? Absolutely. Excellent. Indeed. Thank you so much. Have a great rest of your week, guys. Cheers. Thanks. Thank you. Moving now.